Aloha, I've made it to Hawaii. We're in the center of Hilo right now. We're going to a farmer's market that is supposedly pretty large on Wednesdays and Saturday. And Saturday. Wednesdays and Saturday. So that's where we're at today. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring. We're actually blessed with some good weather today because it's been really raining the last two days that I've been here. So I'm glad that we're getting some good weather. Let's go check out the farmer's market and see what it's all about. Oh, that side first. Doesn't matter. We, if we it looks like zongzi. Yeah. yeah. So Look at cute little on. head, cutie. Hey, good looking. We just got to a place called Rainbow Falls. However, today is really, 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 really rainy. So we are gonna try to hike up there, I think, but we're gonna have an umbrella. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take my camera out because it is really rainy. Really, really, really rainy outside. And I don't really know if I wanna risk getting my camera ruined. It stopped raining. Yes. Ish. I don't see any rainbows right now, but my dad said he saw a rainbow over there earlier. This is the wee little one, but I don't see one. We're gonna hike up along this path now to go look at Boiling Pot, which I think is up there. I thought this was a big hike, but it turns out if you park there, you can walk there and read about Rainbow Falls, and then you can also walk up there and probably read about Boiling Pot up there. Here we go! Kulani Gardens. Liliuo, sorry. Liliuo Kulani. Kula We've made it to this very beautiful park. And the park doesn't have that many flowers. Lots of very beautiful trees. It's very green, very lush, very Hawaii-esque. And there's these really cool bridges. However, none of the bridges have paths to get to them. So we have concluded that you can't actually walk on the bridges. We're gonna walk around the whole park and see if there's anywhere that we could go up to the bridges and walk on. We found someone walked across the grass to go over here. Maybe we were just mistaken and you can go over, but we didn't wanna walk on the grass to go over. If I could scratch my last statement, I would. You can indeed walk on the bridges. My bad. If I move really slow, they won't be able to see me. Really slow. I am invisible. This is a place that I think Justin would really enjoy. Oh, the sign's not there. Oops. <laughs> we are at the macadamia nut uh, factory. Mauna Loa, I think is how you say it. And Justin loves macadamia nuts. So, I'm thinking of him while I'm here. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams.
welcome i just dropped my camera a little bit earlier so hopefully it works you guys saw we went to the farmer's market so this is all the new fruit we got um actually these are from the macadamia uh farm place factory that we went and they just have like a little nature walk area that you can go to and you can yeah i don't know actually i don't know if you could take anything from there but we took some macadamia nuts they were on the ground we didn't pick them off the tree i think this is called nani and it is a type of medicine or they use it for medicinal purposes. Soursop, soursop. Here's a really big avocado, little nanas. Um, these are wild guava that we got off the side of the road. These ones are the big ones, and then these ones are the little ones. These are called Brazilian grapes. They're a little bit sour, and this is a white pineapple. In the inside it's white, and then this was, what was this? I don't remember what don't it was called. Name. I don't know the Jacoba. Name. Jacoba. That's what we're going with. We can go with the Jacoba fruit. Uh, papaya? Papaya. 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 Sorry for everyone that Ooh, loves wow. mangoes. And the passion fruit. Passion fruit, passion fruit. So many fruits. We're about to cut open some of them and try them. This is the little wild guava one. Oh, it's a little bit tangy, but delicious. The little round ones. Ooh. Not that one, the little round ones mm -hmm. are actually considered an invasive species in Hawaii. They, try, they would try to get rid of them if they could, but there's so many of them. They spread like wildfire. Because mm. every time the fruit gets ripe and falls off the tree, there's thousands of seeds inside. Mm -hmm. They grow, almost all of them will sprout. This is the bigger wild guava that we got. It's also a little bit bitter. Mm -hmm but still tastes really good. I think I like the smaller ones, the yellow mm -hmm. ones more. I like the yellow ones more, but the pink ones are still yum. Mm. And then this one that we just don't know what it is. Is there a seed in the middle? Mm, I think so. Ooh, the seed looks hairy. Yeah. Oh, but it's not at all. So this is my taste test of the unknown fruit name. What did we say it was, Jacoba? <laughs> I don't remember. It smells like papaya almost. Mango. Mango? Mango? Tastes like, mango. Tastes like mango? This is not as sweet. Yeah, it's kind of a dry fruit. It's not really juicy at all. It's okay. It tastes like a dry mango, I guess. Is this thing called a soursop? Ooh, it is soft. Yeah. I like the soursop. Ooh. It almost looks like durian a little bit. So this is a soursop. Excuse my dad's dog barking in the background, but you cannot eat the skin. Mmm, it tastes good, it tastes... Mmm. Tiny, what do you think, Tiny? What do you think, Tiny? So there's some big seeds in it, but it tastes good. I don't, I don't know how to describe the flavor. It does have a little bit of a soury taste to it, but not really, not what you expect. Really sweet, really, really juicy, really sweet, really yum. I approve of sour sauce. Today we are going to go explore Hawaii's botanical gardens. I hope you guys can hear me. It is a little bit windy out and there's lots of this grinding noise. I don't know what it is. It almost sounds like a swing when it's swinging and it's like ee, ee. So we're in the botanical forest, botanical garden. We're in a forest right now. I will try to shoot some footage, but it's not gonna be as beautiful it is and as it is in real life. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, bye! So my battery is about to die, but I just wanted to say I never knew that orchids grew on trees. 
I don't know what I expected from them or how they would grow, but I never knew that they just grew on trees. There's so many of them just on the tree. You can see in that back tree, there's a whole bunch of them right along the side. Here's some more just on, just on the trees. Who knew? Who knew? Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Hi there. Next up on our Hawaiian adventure, we're going to Black Sand Beach. We're here now. I don't want to film talking outside because it's really windy and I don't have a mic or a little fuzzy thing in front of my mic where the mic area is. So, we're here and we're going out. Hey guys, so it's my last night here in Hawaii and I've done a lot of cool and amazing things. I went to go see Rainbow Falls, I went to a black sand beach, I went and saw a boiling pot, I went to really cool farmers markets, I tried tons of new fruits and vegetables, but I'd have to say that the highlight of my trip has been using this SD card reader. So I have these SD cards, they're SanDisk, this one's a little 64 um, gigabyte and I've got a 16 gigabyte in my camera and these cards don't read with my computer. If you guys watched an earlier video that I posted that I'll link somewhere up here, I'll add a card up there, um, they just don't work with my computer and I've sort of written them off but I didn't realize that these were the cards that I brought with me to Hawaii and then I discovered this or my dad's wife gave it to me, it's hers. And it reads them and it totally saved my life and I've got tons and tons of videos that I've been putting on my computer from like Christmas of last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this down in the description box below. If you guys have trouble um, reading your SD cards on your computers, go ahead and give this brand a try. It is called Pison. My dad's wife got it in China, but I did find it on Amazon and I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below. This is where I'm gonna sign off for this week and I will catch you guys next time. Mwah.